Ah, yes, absolutely right. 41 points to eight, though. Let's talk about the Raiders taking the Eels. And no Moses, major problem, Brian. Uh, Matt Timmercourt, and this is where we are talking about this last week. Zach Lomax, who's open market, of course, chatting to Parramatta. $800,000 he's sort of siding with the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Matty Timmerco, massive match, re-signed with the Raiders, two tries, two try assists, just wonderful play. I, I dare say he's getting nowhere near the 800. No. And it's the money ball game, isn't it? Well, they're back five yesterday, and Xavier Savage too. So Ricky was right. Remember last year when he played that one game, and they were saying, you've got to pick him, and Ricky said, he's not ready. No. He, he, I think he played on the wing, and he ran out, and something happened, something. And Ricky came up after the game and said, he's just not ready for it. Well, he's he held him back, Yep. and he's been – enormous for the Raiders. He looks like he's gotten a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. So, you know, sometimes you've got to be patient with these young kids and um, they are flying at the moment. They're back five. Massive. And that, that the modern game now, you need a strong back five. That's their biggest win in a couple of years now. Uh, they Last year, their biggest win was 12 points. This year, uh, they've made it 16. Uh, massive prior to this. And then 41-8 they get, I think they're on their road to finals, Brian. I, th- I, I didn't have him in my eight. No. I didn't have him in my eight. Tough, I'm, tough team, eh? Well, they're old heads. Yep. Keeping those young blokes in check, and yep. that's that's what you need. You know, you get. we're talking about South. Well, I mean, South have been in the headlines. There doesn't seem to be anyone pulling anyone in no. over there. Where down there at Canberra, you've got, you, you know, you've got the Puppleys and Tarpany and stuff, and you've got some really exciting young kids. I think young strangers... Got a little bit of swagger about oh, him, yeah. you know. What I mean? Like he, uh, he, he certainly backed it up, but you can see him getting a little bit lippy out there. So um, you, you know what it's like, Brian. Though, like, so last year they sort of missed the jump a little bit. Had a big win against Broncos. Went on a bit of a run. To have those points in the bank, the advantage of playing in Canberra in winter. Yes, they haven't even done that yet. Yes, so it's huge. I, I, I think they're finals bound on the basis of that. That and the also, and we we, we talk about this ad nauseum, the kicking yep. game. Fogarty's kicking game. Yes. Like I don't think I don't think I'm not saying that that coaches don't, but you you watch like I saw young Katoa's kicking game against the Tigers the other day. That was I thought that was the difference. That yep. His kicking game. Yep. We saw Burton's kicking game. We don't talk about it enough. No. But you know what the thing is for me, and we'll talk about this later with Sous, but the rolling boulder. So what Penrith through Gathers top, No Moss. A gathers no moss. To'o, Tungo, Edwards, um, May. May, they get the boulder going, right? So mm. if, if you're wondering how your team's going, I, I think the modern day can be easily answered. Has your team got a strong back five mm. and have you got a good kicking game? Yeah. And if you've got those two things alone, you're probably somewhere thereabouts. If and you then, haven't got one of those, you're in trouble. And then if, if you're lucky enough to have a, like a, an out-and-out superstar, yep. Like a Kalen. Then you go to the next level. Yeah. That's how you win comps. That's like right. a Reese Walsh. That's right. Like uh, Dylan Edwards is yep. an X factor. Of course he is. Like his game yep. on Saturday, yep. other than Daly Cherry Evans, he was the best player on the field. Yep. Yeah, he was outstanding. So that's the thing. Have you got a strong back five to start your set? Have you got a good kicking game? And if you haven't, that's probably the answer right there. Uh, now, Dylan Brown, 41 points to eight. I was listening to Vossi and Brandy this morning. Yep. 41-8. Raiders defeat the Eels, and well, here's Vossi, and I can't argue with him. Here's what Vossi had to say. Canberra 41, mm-hmm. Parramatta 8. Two Dally M judges sit down to give points. Now, I'm going to make a claim. This judge could not have been at the match because one of the judges has given a point to Dylan Brown. In a side beaten 41 to 8, Dylan Brown snares a point. Enough's enough. You've got to let the, who the judges are and, and whether they're watching the game. Th- th- that's a farce. That is absolutely an attack on the integrity of the award that Dylan Brown would pick up a point last night. Yep. So Dylan Brown, what did he do? 62 run metres, one tackle bust for Dylan Brown, 25 tackles, one try assist. Ethan Strange, 21 tackles, makes upwards of 90 run metres, seven tackle busts, a line break. What is doing, Brandy? This is ridiculous, this transparency, yeah. the, oh, this um, anonymous judges Black and all it. that. They couldn't have watched. They could well, not we, have we, watched. We, Okay, Brian, I've been banging on this about for five years. Is the most obvious thing, right? We have these clangers because we're putting it in the hands of individuals. Mm. So every year it's a clanger. We've Two seen individuals it. now. Yeah, but it's still we're finding these clangers. Okay. 
it is so easy just to go, okay, whoever's calling the match, SEN, Triple M, ABC, Fox, Channel 9, as a collective. So at the end of the match, so you, somebody from the NRL, or you just, there's an app or something, you go, okay, Channel 9, between Gus Gould, Freddie, Joey, um, Billy Slater, who's your 3 2 1, or what, however you want to score it, yeah. what do you think? Fox, Braith, Mick Ennis, whoever it is, what do you think? Triple M, uh, Ryan Girdler, James Graham, uh, Wade Graham, what do you guys think? SEN, Jimmy Smith, blah, blah, blah. You cannot stuff it up. It, it is such an easy thing. So whoever's producing each show, they just go, right, eight boys, as a collective. So the person who gave Dylan Brown the one point, whoever that is, and I don't wish to name him or embarrass him, I don't know who it is. But if there was one person in the Channel 9 box or the Fox box or the SEN box or the Daly, who, who said, oh, I think Dylan Brown's a chance, mm. well, you've got that first layer of people going, uh, no, I don't think so. It was 41 to 8. You remove – there's another layer you, of protection. You remove the howler. The howler is gone. Yeah. It, it is completely gone, the integrity of it all. And then we can have it, – it's the biggest no-brainer. There's already these people and experts who are being paid to be there and call the games. So as a collective, you cannot stuff it up. Can I ask this? You can't. How would you feel about we don't we don't give updates? Yeah. Like the Brownlow? Yeah. Perfect. So it's not made public. Yes. Until yes. the big night. Yes. Are you happy with that? Love that. Well, then that takes away all this sort of viso, doesn't but what, it? But what do you think about, though? Like, yeah, I, I just think it's a lot of work. It's, not, you know, it's no work. But you know me. I like simplifying my life. But Brian, it's no work. You're already there for Channel 9 at the end of the day. and, and even No, if, I mean collating. But it's not a collate. You've got an app. You go bang, bang, bang. It's, Apps are expensive. It's, 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 Brian, Brian, you know it's expensive? Embarrassing an award. That's bloody expensive. Yeah. It, it, it honestly, if he wins by one point, though, that'll be, it'll come back to Brown. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. Well, one, but, but the thing is, and uh, who was sharing this? Uh, I've got to think it was somebody on SEN today. Nathan Cleary's been the best player the last four years, over the four years. He hasn't once won the Dalian. Mm. The seal, Maestro. It was a Maestro on Jimmy's show. It's just wrong. It is so wrong. The other thing I'd be thinking about is people go, oh, yeah, but they're pinching votes off each other. Okay, well, why don't you change it to – why don't you change it to the player who had the most influence on the win and only give it to the winning teams? That that would put to yeah. bed the cannibalising of taking votes off players. If your team that just keeps winning – Yeah, but what if you've, you've just got beaten, you've had an absolute yeah, storm, but, you've yeah, done but, everything. But I think in the, yeah, that's fair. But in the main, I think you get the right answer. Yeah. So, so more often you would see – the Dalian medalists go to a team who's gone very close to winning the comp because they've accumulated so Correct. many wins. Correct. So, yes, you're going to have the time where the blokes played 11 out of 10, maybe best on the field. We talk about it every year, though, don't we? I know, I know. I'm mean, even on board of it. Yeah. Uh, one 300 one 1170 Sparman, no, I won't be talking about that. No, <laughs> I won't I, be talking yeah, about Sparman that. Yeah, Sparman wants to say, can you ask Joel about the two points for a bike? <laughs> yes. It's actually, uh, they're thinking about making it four points. Yeah, I'll make it a 1,000. Who cares? At least if it was a 1,000, you'd be able to recognise it. one 300 1170 what a moronic thing that is. Okay, Cowboys 35 defeat the Titans 22. Brian, I actually backed, I actually backed the Titans. 26 bucks, what are you really gambling with? when they were getting lapped by the Cowboys. You know why I did that? Because they're playing so robotic. When they were getting flogged, it forced them into playing a bit of chaos. It's a bit like the last two minutes of a game when you're behind by six. Forced them into a bit of chaos. Um, they were always going to win this, the Cows, because it's the Titans, and that's they've def- they got defensive issues. Um, I love watching the Cowboys play. I just can't watch them defend. They just... Like I, I had them as a smoky top what, four. What, what is it? What, what, what is? I they... don't know. I don't. They just sort of mentally click, uh, switch off. Yeah. It's it's like when you're under tens and you've got an under ten side and yeah. they all want the ball. Yeah. And off they go and everyone's pushing up and everyone's yeah. excited. It's unreal. And you get someone drops the ball and all their heads go down. It's just they sort of just they don't get excited about defence. No. And you know the pet you could see the the big teams Penrith love it. Yep. Penrith Penrith are kicking early and all sorts of stuff. The Cowboys have to just change their mindset a little bit because then they're, they're, they're always going to beat the bottom half of the eight, and it's always going to be a score like this, 35-22. Yep. yep, yep. They played yep. the Broncos last week and they got lapped. Yep, yep, that's a concern. Uh, Dolphins 26 defeat the West Tigers 16. Where are the Dolphins at, Brian? You, you I, think they're playing finals, I think they? Can, I think they – well, I did before. I mean, we don't know. They're saying Herbie's injury is only four weeks. I think it's going to be longer yep. than that. But um, Matty, Matty was discussing – we were discussing with Matty last week. 
He loves it because they're so fast. Yeah. Avarillo, Hermiso, Tabuai, Fado, the kid, Bostock. The kid has come alive. The halfback, uh, Katoa, uh, has come alive in five well, games. He's a kid. He's, he's, but he's a baby. He's 20. Yeah. But he is now realising... He's, he's, I think he's like thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to lead this team around. It was a bit like, like last year. I don't know if I'm good enough. It's like something's just, a light's gone off, a light bulb's gone off. He's yep. gone, you know what, this is not that hard. And, and, but when you think about his his development the last 12 months, because you sort of go, oh, yeah, he's okay. But he was 19. 19. Yeah. So where's Lockie Galvin in two years? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? The, the growth in kids. I'll tell you who's going really well. Cody Nicarima. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he is. And he's got speed. But they, they, okay. Let me ask you this then: Who's more likely to play finals, Dolphins or Raiders? Um, different sides, totally different Tra- sides. Tradesman versus more flashy sort of. Oh, that's a good question. At this present stage, I would say Raiders. But they're both they're both going to be there about something. Thereabouts. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it's it's good how like they're blooding kids. Like it's sometimes you think, oh, you know, he's not up to it. Yeah. But a, as you mentioned, you sort of don't really, as I've said this many times, the male brain doesn't form until they're twenty three. <laughs> That's right. It's true. It is true. And so physically, they they might not be up to it. Yep. And it's the consistent they can do it. But that could tell the last five rounds so far, he has been. Very, very good. For okay, me. let me ask you this then. So, so the Dalliams, I think, has been led by. I, I personally Nico? think the way we've got it, it, it favours Kalen Ponga and Nico and those styles of game. The double dipping of the, the three points being duplicated, right? Mm. Who has been the best player to this point in the competition? D- D- Dylan Edwards would be hard to beat, wouldn't he? But he's the, the thing with Dylan Edwards. We expect that from him. Yeah, he's been. He plays like that pretty much every game. The effort. Yeah. Um, who has been, well, one of my favorites, Hammer. Yep. I think Hammer's been pretty influential. Yep. Uh, Jerome Hughes. Yeah. I and mean, he's been out for a couple He, he was amazing the other night. Seagulls 32. It, it was a wonderful story. Yeah. Daily Cherry Evans breaks we, a record for Cliffy. We talked ourselves sold out, out, didn't we? We yeah. talked ourselves out. Yeah, of because it. of the Roosters situation. Far out. We were sitting here going, Manly back at home. Tommy won't have another bad game. And then we just went, yeah. Uh, the system. The system. System of a down. Yep. Great song. Chop Suey. Can we get that? <laughs> have you got, you like that song, Tourist? Yeah, I'm a big Chop Suey fan. Oh, it's a great. Both the meal and the. It's a great. In, in, and the song. It's we'll, great, play it, we'll play it at the end of the Play it at the end of the end. Um, it was, yeah, it was just one of those days and good on Daly. Yep. Good on him. Warriors 34 defeat the Rabbitohs 4. What was our text message? Uh, what were we texting each other? What were we saying about that? Michael. Oh, Egan. 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 So, listen, uh, I'm bringing it up, and it, we've never done this before. Nope. We've never had a player who has hit the status of a Michael of this level. And I actually, I don't know whether I, I went a bit too early, but I said Jordan. Yeah. Egan. <laughs> that's, when you, that's when you know yeah. you're above the normal Michael. That's right. That's right. I was thinking, is it a Phelps? No. Nah. Is it a Jordan? You went straight to the goat. I just went straight. To, I just thought this kid, just those two plays. Yep. Those two plays where he just, he holds the marker up. And I, we were talking about this two years ago, or last year, we were saying, it's very similar to a Cameron Smith, how yeah. he controls yep. that ruck. Yep. Like he had Cameron Murray backpedalling, and I was watching. I had to rewind it. He, he didn't know whether to go in or, or go out. Yep. And everyone was just holding off on him. That's, time, what, Cam- that's what Cameron he? Smith used to do. That, that's what I'm saying, Brian. We're, we're saying this on this program where I reckon we were first to the party around the Warriors' hopes this year. If you look back in hindsight, they were every chance to have won it. So if, if Egan's to go on to where he's got to go, you've got Roger there, you've got Chance mm-hmm. there, you've got Adam Fedor Blake, you got all they they have all the pieces, don't they? They do have all the pieces and they've got depth too. Yes. They got well Dallin doesn't play. Mate, Tamari Martin's played in the grand final already. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good that's another story. Like he Barnett was didn't play. Nakore didn't play. Barnett played. Oh sorry. Nakore didn't yeah. play. Dallin didn't play. No. Nah, Dallin and they and they, they get uh Pompey in, yeah, and he just goes whoosh, go whoosh. The thing that I and we were discussing it last night is when you talk about the Warriors, usually it's it's it's, it's an offloader thon. Yep, they kept kicking down to Thompson 
I think they kicked down it was the a great coaching a dozen times. Great and they coaching. Didn't, and that takes a lot of sort of yep. mental toughness because especially when you get into a lead, you think, oh, we don't need to kick. We'll just keep shifting it. Yep. Where SJ just went, nah, I'm just sticking to the plan. Bomb, Mate, bomb, bomb. Sharks, bomb. copy, paste, right? Yeah. So, so Thompson clearly was their best carry from the backfield. And so all they did was this little cage kick. They put the kick up. As soon as Thompson caught it, they went whack. Latrell had no interest in running the ball. No. You have to, like, your back five's got to contribute. When he does contribute, he's a handful. But he, he had no interest in running the ball. Um, then the other side found it hard to get involved. And then they just had no field position. No. Whereas at the other end of the field, they kicked down there. Pompey's coming at you. Chance is coming at you. Roger's coming at you. Yeah. Uh, dessert's coming at you. Even Desserts kicked, hasn't he? Yeah, Rocco Berry. Good so, defender. So that's that's that was the game. And, mm. and Sharks will do the same thing. So if they bring in this young Brock Ray and they've got... Jai Gray. Jai. Jai Gray, is it? Jai Gray. Jai Gray. Yeah. There was a Brock Gray running around for a while there, but Jai Gray, he's only a little fella. You know, yeah. He's a little pocket rocket. But then you've got maybe on the other side Tyrone Munro. Why wouldn't the Sharks just do exactly the same thing? Just go bang, hit the big fella, which is Thompson, and then... Jai's going to run it. Jack White and the poor bugger was just doing all these hit-ups. Yeah. <laughs> what he? Yeah. I mean, do you put him at fullback? That's another. That's a. That's a talk. A chat for another day. Yeah, the we, Warriors, from the opening whistle, were very dominant. They were. Uh, plenty more still to get through. Of course, uh, the round five review. One three hundred oh one eleven seventy. The run home with Joel and Fletch. One hundred oh one eleven seventy. Now, uh, where was this one? Uh, Chano, come on, boys. You give the NRL round five wrap. And you give one sentence only to Manly physically dominating the triple premiership winners. How good was Nathan Brown off the back fence? DC is kicking game. The heaving hill at Brookie. Turn it up, says Shano. They were outstanding, Shano. There's no question about that. In the meantime, uh, Knights 30 defeat the Dragons. I'll tell you what, Brian, the inclement weather certainly didn't slow the points down. No, it was kicking game of our man, Jackie Cogger. Yeah. Just had it on a string. Um, they just handled the wet a lot better. So did the 10,000 fans. How good was that? Oh, the Knights fans just yeah. getting around it. Yep. Uh, Flanagan, he uh, hooked Sloan. I wonder if Teamless choose that tomorrow. Does he get named at fullback or on the wing or or out? Well, it's just, is he the best fullback at the club? Mate, I, is he I, the I best fullback saying, at the club? You, I, I, or you want to you put Zachy Lomax back I, there? No, no not, not so much Lomax, but I, I just think that mate, Sloan is the closest thing I've seen to Nathan Blacklock. Mm. Just put him to the wing. But you need a good fullback. Yeah, but he's not the one. Like, it's, but it's, who's, who have they got? Who have Dragons they got? Dragons fans, who do you want to see if it's not Sloan? I think they'll persevere with him. It was a terrible night. Like, I, know, I know that, Brian, but, it, but the... Would def- you be disappointed if you were fullback, which you were fullback, and you were the top try scorer leading into this yeah. game, and you get hooked yeah. after a game when it was torrential rain, yep. and you get beat by 30? Yeah, but he was talking. He's more talking about the commitment. Wasn't he? It was a fair, fair swipe. Well, have a look. There's one. The game's on now. Yeah, we're going to see it. Play scores around the grounds. Brian. He comes across. Yeah. Look, he sh- Betty Hunt was there. Mm. I don't think that was his fault. No. Anyway, this is why we're not coaches. No, that's exactly right. Uh, this is why uh, the Bulldogs. Who? That was remarkable. Twenty six nil. They just got him off the. Uh, at the start, they just you know it was all. They well, led at half time, so full full time thirty to six, twenty six. Thirty to twenty six. They just came out came out of the blocks. Chooks were trying to, a bit like South. It's like they just backed their their attack. Yep. Where the weather was not inducive. Is that the word? No. Inclusive. Inducive. No, they, both. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they, the early doors they got what's, down the line. They were trying to tap suitable? it on. It was, they were trying to tap tap the ball in, in the yep. wet. Um, and that left side of kick out was just, he was just ready to go, wasn't he? Okay, what, what did you make of the Dom Young send-off, and what did you make of the Radley bin? It's a send-off. Yep. That's a send-off all day yep. after what's going on. Yeah, okay. He can't fly out. He's six foot six, yep. and he got him high. Yep. The Radley one was a disgrace. What about his Colin Bess, so coming off? He looked, he looked like, pretty good. He looked good. He looked good. Yeah. It looked like one of those fake... Aprons you wear at uh, Christmas, you know, when you're cooking the barbie. It looked real good. He was, oh, I was swooning myself. I don't think Trent Robinson found it as funny as us. But anyway, uh, have a listen to this. Hit high and it's not good for Blake. Obviously, you know, you don't want to see that. You know, and it hit him in the jaw, but it was, wasn't a swinging arm. It was open-handed. was lower than shoulder height. 
you know, it's just a, I. Um, if that's the standard, that's fine. But that's a new one for me. I feel like that's lower than what's been sent off before. You know, it just feels like you know we can set a new standard here again. That's how it feels. And then the Rads is one. I mean, Rads is was ridiculous. That was. Connor's the one that tackles him from behind and twists his ankle, and then he falls on that ankle. You know that was that that how they got that to that decision. That that's incredible. You know, it's just that was below par. Tell you what, they were pretty good with twelve. Brian, will he, will he just name twelve this week? Teamless Tuesday, mm-hmm. just have just leave one absent. They uh, Kiri was great. That's what you want from your yeah, senior player. Of course, you just do. stepped in. I can't agree with Robbo on the on the Dom Young one. No, especially when you see Blake Taff. Yep. On the ground. Yeah. In pain, writhing, he didn't come back. No, I totally agree with the Radley part, though. Radley won that, yeah. As I said, that was ridiculous. Yep. Is it because it's Radley? Well, if you if you got if you came down from the moon, yep. You're on the moon, yeah. Watching some footy, and you came down to Earth, and you watched the Latrell elbow, yes. And then you watched the Radley one to someone, and you said, "Who do you reckon's going to get sent from the field here?" Of course. See, see, Latrell. The Latrell one was like. So deliberate. Okay, can I ask you this? I, I don't think... Like, the refs have got enough on their plate officiating the rules. I, I don't think the refs should worry about hip drops because mm. they can happen so subtly. Mm. That's for the that's for the bunker. And I don't care if it's a, a set later. And they go, sorry, champ, uh, you've done a hip drop. You're in the bin now. Instead of a referee having to adjudicate on Radley, wouldn't you rather someone just have some eyes on it? Just mm. or, or even the ref says, can you check that for us? And then a set later, they go, as opposed to the rush of the blood of a ref sort of what are they half ch- unsure. They changed the rules, though, didn't they, with the bunker? They, weren't, they were only allowed to use it. What, what happened at the start of the year? They came back to this because the bunker was making too many decisions yeah. in the run of play. Mm. Do you think the referee was just him making that decision about yeah, Radley? I, I, yeah, for sure. The bunker yeah. didn't say, go and have a look at that? No, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. But but I, I think it should be the other way. Anyway, one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. Uh Big win for the Bulldogs. And, uh, well, they are just marching on. The Roosters, I don't know how they get out of this, Brian. How do they... They were Last year, they were a premiership um, favourite. One of the favourites. Yeah, it's... Same thing this year. It's the uh, it's the names on the paper, isn't it? You yep. look at the names on the paper. And yep. You go, oh, geez, they're... So what is it? There's stars everywhere. So what's the problem? Uh, the, well, the, the, it was the attitude yes, uh, yeah. Friday night. Yep. That's all it was. Just on that, right? So, and I, I mentioned this before the game. The racing, the tactics change if, if you're a mudlark or you're not or whatever. Why do we just stay the course, right? So, for example, Kiri was great on his own. They made this big comeback without Walker. Do you need to run out two little halves in the pouring rain? Is there a case to run out one half in the pouring rain with seven forwards? Don't you go out in the rain? Yeah. That should be playing that. Yeah, dragon. Um, well, they needed to score points, Sugar. That they was they the were scoring points. They needed, creative, they needed some creative. But they scored it. They scored them with just the one half. <clears throat> but everyone thinks you've got to have the formula, which is the two little halves. I think you've got to think outside the box a bit anyway. Well, who are they going to play, play this week? If Sam Walker's, he could be playing because that was a category one. Mate, Jack Gibson just picked his best players. If, if I, I would, in lieu of bringing in a player who you don't think is quite ready, I'd rather just go, hey, Kiri, you know how we won that grand final? You got the Clive Churchill and all Cooper Cronk did was sort of steer us around the park. Yeah. Um, let's play seven forwards. I'd, just pick your best 17. You don't have to pick. Radley at six. You don't have to pick a six and seven. Radley at six. There you go. Uh, Manu at six if you have to. Well, one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. He's going to be fullback. The run home with Joel and uh, Fletch. Uh, plenty more still to come, and we're going to talk about Winks after this.